This is Twit. Apple is not, I have to say, a $2 trillion company anymore. Because, yeah, what happened? Well, the stock market. Fickle markets are fickle. I know, but it, it, was, it was pretty big for one day, wasn't it? Uh, Apple had the worst day, uh, I think, ever of any technology stock. They lost 8%. But it was also just bad for all stocks. Uh, it's because they Thursday. could afford to, Leo. Yeah. That's, that's, it was so yeah. big they could afford to have <laughs> They a lost $180 billion. Well, lost. That's not right. Their, their, <laughs> their market value, their market cap lost $180 billion in one day. It's the largest. Their vanity metric. The, yeah, it's a vanity metric. But it is the largest one-day loss in value for any company ever, according to Barron's. The previous loss, Volkswagen, uh, in uh, 2008. So this came surely really after the stock split. Is there? No, I mean, it's not like, Apple like, only because the whole market. I still the whole, question like the whole market. So, so a bunch of companies lost, you tech, know, their eight percent too. Yeah, it was the worst day of tech stocks for tech stocks since March. You know, and I can almost well, I know, I'm not, I'm not a market prognosticator, and I'm not an investor, by the way. Um, but uh, I mean, I have, I have funds. I don't, I, I don't invest in individual stocks. For good reason, because my <laughs> track record would be awful. <laughs> but I generally yeah. think that this is, if any sector is going to come back it during COVID, it's going to be technology sector. The long arc oh, of history. No. Yeah. But, mm. yeah. As a matter of fact, I can't remember where I read this, but there's a, uh, there is at least one country that is uh, putting forward that the tech companies should be taxed more heavily during this period because they're actually doing a, they're the one industry that's doing exceptionally well and that uh, an increase in taxes and taxation on those companies could help to keep other industries afloat um again i'm sorry i don't have that hand in for that reference handy but this is this is not the sort of thing that's going to improve the perception that uh co tech companies have way too much power and they'll they're only going to become more and more powerful no matter what happens in the world so i'm, I'm it's be interesting to see in 2021 how, whether this shakes out as something specific that people would like to address or whether it just simply continues to downgrade people's opinion of a huge <laughs> people of two trillion dollar companies that have access to all the information that we transact with <laughs> willingly and unwillfully as we go throughout every day of our lives the internet is a pain monetization engine so i mean the worst that we suffer for the better, like Twitter, all these places are going to do. So, it pr but I, I if you were looking, the wit was covering this, wasn't he? And and he was explaining there was a bunch of shorts and puts and right. profit taking going on. It's just like the, I think, it's. I think that's the Wall Street machine. I think the word profit, the words profit taking, are actually probably the most accurate because tech stocks had been ramping up hugely, as had yeah. the market as a whole, really heating up over the last few weeks. When that happens, people at some point go, yeah, I'm going to take some of that money out. And so the stock goes down again. And, and also the shorts get mad. So they start doing things yeah. to get the stock back down again so they can buy it lower and sell it higher when it goes back up. I'm going to presume it doesn't have anything to do with the epic lawsuit or...